Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. Myself Mahesh Pundivij, a faculty member at Classic IAS and KS Study Circle Tharwad. So today we are going to find square root and cube root okay, of any four digit number or three digit also or even four five digit also we are going to find the square root and cube root. Right? So first we will go through how to find cube root, sorry square root. So here what I have done the basic requirement okay to find the square root of any number okay the basic requirement is at least you should know square still 25 okay so at least you should know square still 25 but here for our reference I have written it till okay 15 squares I have written right so from 1 to 15 I have written now how to find the square root of the given numbers in 5 seconds or even less than that so for that reason to understand you have to have patience here understand it clearly so I will explain it very slowly so by the time you come to this question or this question okay so the speed will automatically it will increase so now see here now here I have written some square values okay and by looking at that first what you do always you find always you go through the unit digit of the number okay so square roots unit digit you see so the unit digit here is 4 and whenever the unit digit is 4 my answers okay the answers unit digit will be 2 because square root of 2 is 4 is what it is 2 so that means answers unit digit will be 2 there is another possibility also you just see here when it is 2 square then it is 4 here and one more thing you see 8 square when it is it is also 64 that means unit digit of this answer can also be 8 that means there are two possibilities here okay suppose if you are matlab if you can find one number and if you are not able to find another number quickly then i will tell you one method also always remember that the sum of the unit digit will always be 10 okay so the sum will always be right so now you see here okay so now what I calculated is okay I have found that what will be my answers unit place so my answers unit place will be either it will be 2 or it will be 8 so this much is confirmed now okay now how to find the values okay so now it is square root okay square root meant always what you do always you neglect the last two digits after finding the last digit of the answer what you do you just neglect the last two digits always okay last two digits of the number now you see 17 is remaining okay 17 is remaining my question is where this 17 will lie where this 17 is that means my question is in this way suppose if I start writing the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 see here 1 2 3 after that I am having 4 here then 5 6 7 8 okay then I am having 9 here so in this sequence if I go on writing the numbers then my question is where you are going to find 17 okay so 17 you will find it somewhere here okay definitely you will find somewhere here so wherever you will find that value okay so its previous square value okay its previous square value will be the tens place here so it will be here that means my answer is either 42 or it will be 40 or it will be 48 now the question is which one of this is correct okay so which one this of this is correct so for that what you do you take this 4 okay you take this as 4 and along with this 4 you multiply its next number so 4's next number is what it is 5 so 5 forza is how much it is 20 for explanation it is taking time but once when you understand the things properly okay so you will be able to do it very fast okay so multiply the next number 20 you get the 20 here now what you do the 17 which is present here in the question so you ask a question to yourself this 17 is less than this number or more than this number this 17 so 17 is less compared to this number ask question that this number is it less or more so this 17 is less so 
out of these two numbers whichever is the lesser number so this is the less number okay so it is the smaller number so this will be my answer 42 is the answer clear everybody now see here so let us find okay some more values are there by the time you reach here you will be very comfortable okay so once again i will repeat it step by the step as i have done it here right so here we have 3 2 4 9 right so first thing what we have to do is okay i will just remove this part okay now we will come to this okay so here the unit digit is 3 sorry unit digit is 9 so answers unit digit will be 3 and what is the other number i told you that the sum of this is going to give me 10 so 3 plus 7 is going to give me 10 so another number will be 7 right so unit digit of this is 3 or 7 okay so unit digit i understood now what i told you it is a square square root i have to find so in this case always you neglect the last two digits always you neglect the last two digits so when you neglected the last two digits now 32 is left here so now my question is you have to find where 32 lies okay so where does 32 lies see it is clearly understood it will be in between this 25 and 36 it will be somewhere here so what I told you, you take the previous square value of it, okay, you take previous square value of it, so it is a 5, right, so what it will become, so here the tens place value will be 5, 53 or 57, so answer will be any one out of this any one out of this now the question is what is the right answer so for that what you need to do is with this phi with this phi you multiply its next number so its next number will be 6 so 5 6 da is a 30 okay so now what you do you ask a question to yourself this 32 this 32 is it more or less than this number so 32 is a greater number compared to this so out of this whichever is the greater number that will be the answer so 57 is the greater number so 57 is the square root of this number are you understanding my point right so now let us see this this is also this one you do it okay because it is similar here 9 and 9 is there okay so this one you find i will find this one okay so this one is homework for you now see here again you understand one more thing okay again i will repeat it once again how to find it okay so now see here the unit place is what here unit place is 4 if unit place is 4 then what will be my results value it will be 2 okay so if you are able to tell me one value okay the another value will be automatically you are going to get the another value because what i told you the sum of these two numbers will be 10 that means here definitely it will be 8 because 8 plus 2 is going to make me 10 okay so now you see now it is square root so what you do you neglect the last two digits okay you neglect the last two digits now when you neglect the last two digits then what is left here 46 is left right so now your work is to find where is 46 so 46 will lie somewhere here so 46 will lie somewhere here and now you have to what you have to do you have to find the previous value so previous value is a 6 so the previous value is 6 that means my answer will be either 62 or it will be 68 now what you have to do to find which is the right answer so what you have to do is this 6 you have to multiply it with the next number so 7 6 is 40 7 6 is 42 now ask the question to yourself this 46 which is in the root this 46 is it greater than this value or is it less than this value so this value is greater so my answer will be the greater value so greater value is 68 so the greater value is a 68 now you see when I explained the first question when I explained the second now I am explaining you the third now you see every time the speed is getting increased okay so it is the practice itself the method will remain same it is the practice practice itself right now let us come to the next question here right let us come to the next question here so here you see here it is one okay so one means in the unit place okay so the my answer will be one yes or no if my unit place answer is one then what will be the another number I told you the sum is 10 so sum is 10 so sum is 10 means here it will become 9 so 9 plus 1 how much it will become 10 that means answers unit place will be 1 or it will be 5 
it will be 1 or it will be 5 sorry it will be 1 or it will be 9 okay please correct it so it will be 1 or it will be 9 now what you have to do I told you that whenever you have to find the square root then what you have to do you have to neglect the last two digits okay you have to neglect the last two digits now remaining two digit it is 16 so where does 16 lies here it is exactly here okay so it is exactly here so now my question will be what you have to do here you have to take 4 so exactly it is the same one so you have to take 4 and 4 here right so exactly you have to take 4 itself right so now what you do out of this which is the right answer so what I told you 4 with that you multiply the next number so 5 4 is nothing but 20 so ask the question this number okay this number that is nothing but 16 okay this number 16 is it less than this number or more so this number is less so this number which is in the root is less so lesser number value will be the answer so 41 will be the answer for this okay 41 will be the answer for this now come to this part right come to this part now okay 3025 okay 3025 so the unit place value is what it is 5 that means my square answers last digit will be what it will be 5 okay please correct it so it will be 5 and here if it is 5 then another number will also be 5 only so here you need not to write the another possibility that means when my unit digit is 5 you need not to write the another possibility matlab directly only one answer you are going to get okay and that is nothing but it is going to be 5 so whenever it is 5 the answer will be units place answer will be 5 itself okay so again the same thing okay just neglect the last two digits okay and check where you are going to have 30 so where you are going to have 30 you will have somewhere here and 30's previous value is what it is 5 so here okay so you are going to write 5 right so you need not to multiply and find the next number clear everybody because there is only one possibility here so 30 will be available here so 30's previous value will be how much it is 5 so here okay so it will be 5 so 55 is the answer now we will come to the last question from how to find square root okay so 6 is there so when 6 is in the unit place okay when 6 is in the unit place okay so what all values you are going to have you will have either 6 and what will be the another value it will be 4 or 4 and 6 also you can write okay so 6 or 4 will be the unit place value right now when it is going to be the square root okay so what you do you just neglect the last two digits okay always now 12 is left so where is 12 okay so where is 12 you have to find so it will be somewhere here okay so it will be somewhere here okay so its previous value so what is the previous value here it will be 3 right so its previous value will be 3 so either answer will be 3 th 36 or 34 either the answer will be 36 or 34 now to find which one is the right answer so what we have to do along with this 3 you have to multiply the next number that is nothing but 4 so 3 porza is 12 and now you compare it with this number so 12 and 12 both are equal what to do okay what to do because if it was a smaller number I would have selected the smaller number if it was lesser number I would have selected the lesser number but here it is equal so in this case the greater number will be the value okay so the greater number will be the value okay so 36 is the right answer for this question so, so this is how you need to find okay you need to find the square root of any number clear everybody right let us move to the next part okay that is how to find cube root okay within 5 seconds so here I have taken some values here how to find the cube root okay now here I have written some cube values which we need to know okay which we should understand we should we should have them okay by added so there there are some cube values written okay so 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube all I have written it till 10 here so one thing you notice whenever there is 2 in the unit place the result the cube value will be 8 and whenever there is 8 the cube value okay it will be its unit place will be 2 and same thing is with 3 also when it is 3 there is a 7 and whenever there is a 7 there is a 3 that means what point I want to tell you here is always remember if you want to find cube root of a number 
whose unit place is 2 then its answer okay will be 8 or if you want to find the cube root of a number whose unit place is 8 then its answer will be 2 okay this is one pairing you have to remember and same thing is with 3 and 7 also that means if a cube root unit place value is 3 then my result will be 7 if my cube root values unit place is a 7 then its result will be 3 right so this is one pairing and what about other numbers okay so other numbers whatever the number will end with so that itself will be the result in the cube right say for example 4 if you have to find the cube root of 4 then the result is also 4 5 it is 5 6 it is a 6 so it is going to remain same for other numbers right so when it is a 2 the result will be 8 when it is 8 the result will be 2 when it is 3 the result will be 7 if it is 7 the result will be 3 now let us start solving the questions okay now see here first question unit place is 6 so answers unit place is also 6 yes or no cube root cube means 3 right in the previous we had calculated square root square means 2 so what we did there we neglected the last two digits here it is cube root cube root means 3 matlab when you find cube it, the power will be 3 right so what you do you neglect the last three digits okay always you neglect the last three digits okay always you neglect the last three digits now the question is where does this 636 will be okay so 636 where it will be okay so 636 it will be somewhere here yes or no because next is 729 so it will be somewhere here right so again the same thing you have to take the previous value okay again you have to take the previous value so the previous value is what it is 8 so the answer is 86 that's it answer is 86 that's it let us solve the next question quickly okay uh, now see here in the place what you are having 3 just now I told you if your cube root ends with 3 its unit place is 3 then the result will be 7 so that means here the result is 7 okay now it is cube root so what I have to do I have to neglect the last three digits from here okay so if you neglect the last three digits from here what is left 19 is left so check where the 19 is okay so where the 19 is okay you can see it is somewhere here so 19 is somewhere here so what you have to do you have to take the previous value so you have to take the previous value so previous value is what 2 so 27 so 27 is the answer very fast right come to this point okay so here it is 4 so that means unit place value will also be 4 okay now neglect last three numbers if you neglect the last three numbers 405 just find where is 405 405 will be somewhere here so the previous value of it that is 7 74 is the answer you can do it very fast right here now you see 2 the answer will be 8 because I told you whenever it is 2 the answer will be 8 if the unit place is 8 the answer will be 2 right so 2 I have written 8 here right now you just neglect the last three digits 941 so it will be somewhere here 941 the number will be somewhere here so its previous value will be the answer 9 so 98 is the answer for this I hope you people understood how to find square root and cube root quickly right so practice okay you practice now what is the what is the thing that we have to understand the thing that we have to understand is these values that means when you look at this number suddenly in your mind you should get that where this value will come in what range it will come okay so that is the very important point here which we need to understand okay so for that you need to understand these values properly fine so here okay I have given two questions you have to find the cube root of this okay you have to find cube root of these values and you have to tell me in the comment box okay so what will be your answers right so shortly okay shortly we will start okay with uh, a banking examination as IBPS RRB has been notification has been out so shortly what I will do is I will bring you a strategy for how to prepare for quantitative aptitude for IBPS examination 
right and also with that i will be teaching you okay one of the important topic that is speed time and distance okay for banking examination at a very basic level i will start and i will take you to the mains level also i will be solving mains level questions also right so we will shortly start with that we will meet again okay till that you take care wish you all the best thank you